Today we got a new product just for you. <laughs> diddly diddly potato. Thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Dustin. Let's jump into this recipe. We've got some pork and good pork rind crumbs, some full green rice cauliflower, keto chow baked potato flavor that's brand new from Steve from Serious Keto. Look at it. This is what the pork rind crumbs look like. We bought them just like this. This is Parmesan cheese, two eggs. We're gonna dump that in the mixing bowl. We are going to use four packets of this full green riced cauliflower. Everything will be in the description below. That's two, three, and that is number four right there. We're gonna dump in the pork rind crumbs, the Parmesan cheese. We're gonna mix it up just a little bit. Then we're gonna put our keto chow packet in, the full packet for this recipe. And this is a little bit of avocado oil. Again, the full recipe, macros, and everything will be in the description below, along with any affiliate links that we have. If you wanna order any keto chow or pork and good products from us, we're gonna mix it up, make it nice and well combined. I have two Dash Mini Chaffle Makers here. And we're going to put the right amount in. I have my little green scoop. I love my green scoop. I don't even know where to get another one, but it's the perfect amount for the Chaffle Maker. I drop them down. Now, these are going to cook longer than your average Chaffle. About two to three cycles versus just one cycle for a normal chaffle. But you want them to be nice and crispy. Look at it, beautifully crispy. Hang around. We are going to try them out so you can know exactly how they taste. And here we go. Look at how crispy, crunchy, savory they look. Last week, we got this new product, Keto Chow. Baked potato. Mm -hmm. It's a collaboration with Steve from Serious Keto and Keto Chow. Right. Probably doesn't taste yummy in a creamy or a shake. Just we saying. did not make a creamy or a shake. But what we did make... We as in you. Yes. <laughs> You've already seen in the recipe video already. They sent this to us last week. Mm -hmm. And they released it early, so I didn't have a lot of time to plan on what I was going to make with this, because I wasn't quite sure what to do. And mm -hmm. she and I talked about it, mm -hmm. and I had an epiphany. That epiphany was chaffle hash browns. Hash now, brown chaffle. I wanted to make these as streamlined as possible because I wanted to have as little bit of an interference with the flavor of the potato that I could. Right. You wanted it to taste as purely like potatoes as possible. Yes. So you could actually get the whole keto chow flavor. Right. Let's try these out mm -hmm. and see what we think about it here. This one's warm Ooh. and it's kind of crispy. It is. Do you want half? Yeah. Okay, that is kind of what it looks like on the inside. Sort of bready-ish. So kind of a hash brown potato kind of thing is a holy grail sort of thing for us on keto, right? Right, because you can't have potatoes. No potatoes. Potatoes are a no-no. Right. Mm -mm. Mm. Along comes Steve with this packet of potato with no actual potatoes harmed in the making of this, I don't believe. I can't read it right yeah, now. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but potato flavor. Potato flavoring. So we've been told. Yeah. Maybe maybe, maybe he held a, a potato hostage and made it give up its flavor. 
Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> but anyway, I love hash browns and I love chaffles. So I figured why not mix the two? All right. All right, go ahead. Hash brown chaffles. Let's Dink. try it. Ooh, you hear that crunch? Mm. That's good. Are these a dead ringer for potato, like hash browns? I want to say... They're as close as you can get. These are, yes, these are about as close as science has allowed us thus far. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Mm. That's really good. It has a good texture. I'm kind of like, so you know how chaffle, or chaffles, <laughs> you know how hash browns have like a texture? These have that texture. Mm -hmm. About kind of fall apart piece by piece in your mouth, but crispy. And they have that potato flavor, they just do. Oh, that's so good. Now, this recipe mm. yielded me a baker's dozen. Okay. So 13 hash brown chaffles, like, so 13 four inch hash browns. Right. Now I imagine that you could use these for things like breakfast sandwiches. Oh, that would be so good. Could you imagine eggs and bacon on that? Eggs, bacon, oh. and cheese on this? Oh. Mm. If it wasn't that almost, really good. if it wasn't almost 2 a.m., mm -hmm. I would have made those. Yeah. I might make a little video later this week, a little short or something like that using these, because these are awesome. And I imagine that these would reheat well in the toaster. Ooh, or in your uh, um, air fryer. Air fryer, right? That'd probably be good. Mm -hmm. I, I know the girl would eat these. Mm -hmm. I know she would eat these. How long did it take you to make it, like as a rest, like putting it together and making it into chaffles? Give or take. The recipe itself comes together within like five minutes. Okay. And then the cook time is more than a regular chaffle. Okay. So maybe instead of like, you know, a four minute cycle, maybe double that. Mm -hmm. So they take a little bit of time. Luckily for me, I do have two chaffle makers. Some of you out there have those four inch by fours. So there's four. You can that make four make at a easy. time. Yeah. But I mean, for the short amount of time that it takes to make them and the taste that you get out of that, that's a winner. That's a winner. And, you know, I did use long, a whole package of keto chow for 13 chaffles. As long as keto chow does not stop making this baked potato flavor. Chris. And as long as it doesn't sell out every time they have it. Well, we could make these like a weekly thing. They're not bad. I mean, they, they're really actually good. Not, not bad. They're good. I didn't read the ingredients or the how and all this stuff on this yet since it just got here. So I didn't really have a reason to read the directions. So. Well, it looks like there's five grams of total carbs for the whole pack. Mm -hmm. So that, and you used cauliflower. I used four packages of cauliflower rice. Okay. Um, and you'll see that in the video. Um, so, and that's six total carbs per package. So that's 24 total carbs. So that makes 30 total carbs. Right, divided by 13. There was a half cup of Parmesan cheese. So whatever, the, I'll, I'll make a list and do all the macros in the description or in the, the description for you, the recipe and everything for you guys. Give or take, we'll round up three grams of carbs per. Three total carbs per Chocolate. hash brown. Now, and again, they're hearty too, they're heavy. Yeah, they are hearty. That's just a rough guesstimate. He'll put the mm -hmm. actual what it I'll is. I'll do my very best. That's a rough guesstimate, but that's good. We could do those weekly. So this says net carbs on this package is 0.75. So sub one net carb. I don't know what the net carbs on these are. They're probably, yeah. I'll, I'll do the math. You'll do what you yeah. can. We'll do what we can. Eh, three grams of carbs per. Total carbs. Total carbs. Give or take. That's but not pretty, a, but not a lot. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I mean, for something that tastes as close to hash browns as you can get, and you can make them for me. I can make them for you. You I see like the look that. on her face? <laughs> They're very yummy. I really do like yes. them a lot. All right. 
Let us know what you think down in the comments. I can't wait for you to let me know what you think when you get a chance to try them. Yes, make them and tell us how they work out for you. As always, if you found value in our videos, let us know. Do that by liking, sharing, subscribe, and even consider becoming a member. Every little bit helps. Every little bit keeps the channel moving, guys. We are a Keto Chow affiliate. No. Oh, yeah. We're I'm a, sorry. I thought you were saying something. We're a Keto about. Chow affiliate. So if you'd like to try this, <laughs> links are in the description below. You can get a discount. I get a little bit of kickback. It helps the channel go forward so we can make more recipes. And it doesn't cost you anything extra to do that. Right. It actually saves you money. Okay. Thank you so much. We love you. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.